Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some rather funky earrings out of grey board and some dinkles and some gesso. Come with me, let me show you up close. These are rather funky, they're bright, they're so easy to do and we can use some fab foils to make them look well, they just get you in the party and holiday mood. Fabulous fun. Don't forget, because you've got two sides for these, you can make them fit two colour schemes. So in other words, two earrings in one. Bargain! Let's make loads of them. So, come with me. Let me show you how it's done. Okie dokie, we're going to start with preparing and colouring. So we're going to use two sets of the COGS 4 um grey board and I've got four splots of gesso there and I'm just putting some dinkle sea blue shaking it a bit like a salt and pepper shaker because I've put a hole in the top of my lid so we've got dinkle sea blue yellow pink and lime green and those are just the colors I'm starting with and I'm going to mix them with my blenders so I've got one for each color and that my lovelies is the green it's rather a nice bluey green there, isn't it? And I'm just going to put it on a couple of pieces. Now remember, whichever one you put on, make sure to do it on exactly the same piece. The whole idea is you actually get a matching set of earrings. Okay. So that's my pink that I've mixed. And I'm just dabbing it on with a blender. And if you think, if you think that colour needs to be a bit brighter, then just add a few more shakes of that colour into it to increase your, your pink. There we go. See, I knew I was going to do that. And what a difference. Look at that. Isn't it stunning? It's like candy floss at a summer fair. It's just lovely. Okay, we're going in with another blender. What colour are we going to do now? We're going to go for the sea blue. I love this colour because it's very teal, isn't it? Very teal. And for some reason I like teal. So remember this is just my base coat and I will add touches of other colour along the way but all of it will be done using a blender and that again I thought I needed a little bit more touch of sea blue so I've added some more I've obviously decided I'm going to do another flower in the <laughs> sea blue possibly because I like teal did I tell you I like teal anyway there we go Keep on adding until you're happy with your colour. I'm going for really bright pastel -y colours here. So I'm doing some yellow on my smaller ones because I'm thinking that those are going to be the ones at the centre of the flower. We are going to have to colour both sides, just so you know. So look at those colours. Stunning, aren't they? I've just I've taken some of the dots as well. So maybe I should have said right at the very beginning that when you look at these, you will see that I've got two of each type. That's why I've got two sets of the COGS 4, COGS set 4 grey board. And I'm just mixing my shades about now to add a little bit of depth. Now this is Dinkle's Amber because I decided I would like a little bit of that in there too. And look at it, isn't it lovely? There's some periwinkle. Ooh. And that's a lovely lilac-y shade. It's so pretty. Just adding it to touches of the pink. And edging some of my teal. Nope. That's the yellow going in the centre because, of course, I'm wanting them to look flowery. 
floral, rather. So just try and peel them off your um, craft mat before you you put your heat tool on them. Otherwise, you'll find that the the acrylic can decide to stick. And don't worry if they're not absolutely identical. That's not a problem, you know. I think sometimes things look so much more interesting if they've got a little bit of difference about them. Anything too perfect just looks mass-produced. And we are craftspeople, so we don't really want that. So I'm turning them all over because it's time to do the other side. So try not to do... It's difficult, this bit. Try not to do exactly the same colour on the other side. So, going back in with my blenders, intensifying that colour by adding another dash of sea blue. And I've decided those are going to be on the outside. Now, they do look really intense, but once you layer them up, they are literally going to be touches of colour here and there. Because you'll only really see the edge of them. That's rather lovely. What are we going to do now? Ah, the sea green. So that one's got sea green on the other side. That one's got... Is it sea green? Lime green, sorry. So we're going to go with some pink. There we go. But you know what? I'm just showing you the colours I'm using, but you could use any colours. And because you've got two sides to your earrings, you could use them for, for two colour schemes, two outfits, you know. It's fantastic. So you could make one side really light and one side really dark, and then you've just got... You're covering all bases. Fabulous. There we go. Look, just adding a touch of colour to them it just brings it to life and even if it's just on the edges of those cogs it's just going to make all the difference trust me so let's dry those with a well I'm using my heat tool if you're patient you could wait if you're like me just use your heat tool and get it to the point where you're happy to flip them over over even Aren't they stunning? You could use those on a card, you know, like that. Hmm, there's an idea. Oh, shaky camera, apologies. There we go. And now what I'm doing is I'm trying to layer them up so that you can see them at their best advantage. Now, here we go. This is exciting, this bit. Using the brilliant dewdrop inks that we've got, the planetarium set, I'm using the gold. I think it's gold planet. And I'm just using, without any other applicator, dipping my cog into it. And it just looks lovely. And then you can um, place that. Watch, I'll show you now. Right, so if you put your ink pad flat across the top, it will only take in places and it just looks so pretty. There we go. So that's what it should look like once we have done once we've glued it all together. But at the moment, we're just adding that little touch of metallic to it. Doesn't it look pretty? Just lifted it for, to another level. You can see I'm not being overly fussy. 
it's a bit of subtle bling. So not over the top, just subtle. Lovely. Who'd have thought you could have so much fun with greyboard and greyboard cogs? <gasps> just amazing stuff. Well, I'm hooked anyway. There we go. So I'm obviously doing those little tiny dotty bits that you get in greyboard. I've coloured them yellow and I'm just adding some of that gold to them. Doing the same to the other cogs that are going to go on the other side of my set. Round and round and round the edges. Stunning. It perks it up, doesn't it? Stick and fix. Guess what we're doing here? Yes, that's right. Crack open the bippity boppity glue. I'm going in. So I'm just putting a bit on my craft mat and using my finger because I find that's just the way I like to work. So slowly assemble your earring. And try and do it so the colours are not, um, you know, don't put a blue on top of a blue. Try and separate them with some striking colour. So we've got that lovely, lovely yellow on top of the blue. And I'm just deciding, because we've done both sides, you do get a choice of what colours you're going to work with. And I'm finishing it off with the yellow. It's like a little ray of sunshine. It's lovely. And just putting that tiny dot in the middle. Now turn them over. It's time for the other side. So remember what I said, try and make sure that you're going with alternate colours, if you like, to layer up that way. Apologies if you can hear the dog. He just wants to get in on the act. Make sure that you place them so that you get that lovely feeling of being able to see through into the workings of these cogs. A little bit of fun, aren't they? Finish it with your yellow centre that makes you think, oh, perhaps this is a rather funkadelic. Is that a word? Funkadelic? I quite like that. Funkadelic flower. Or a fun flower for short. There we go. I wonder what happens now. Fab foil. Oh, how wonderful. So using a Zig two-way glue pen, just go around the edges of your cog. So you've already done that with the inks, but you don't have to go all of the way around on this. Just pick little bits that you think, ooh, Quite fancy having a little bit of extra something there. I've obviously got a runaway centre. It needs a bit more glueage. So I'm just going to use my Wow Fab Foil on top of that tacky glue because I heated it up until it was tacky. And I'm just using my thumb to encourage it to stay where the glue was. And you can just see it starting to have a life of its own. It's just stunning. Look at that. Rather lovely. And let's do the same to the other one. Now, while I'm working on this one, you can see, I suppose, the other set of earrings that I've done. Slightly different colouring, but I'm just doing exactly the same thing. But for this one, 
I've put that Zig 2A glue pen on in places, not all over, heating it up until it goes tacky like a sticker and just running my thumb over the fab foil. I've chosen gold and letting it add accents of of decadence to those earrings. I quite like that, accents of decadence. But it is, isn't it? It's almost as techy. Do like it. Oh, turning it over onto the other side and just running that glue pen over all, no, not all of it, just little bits that I think, oh, quite fancy a bit of gold on that. There we go. So don't be too precious about it. Heat it up with your glue pen, get it to the point where the glue is tacky so that the fab foil will stick to it. You've seen me do it a couple of times. Let's do it again. And there we go. I've literally picked the earring up inside that foil and given it a good... A good... What was I going to say? Given it a good... Well, I've encouraged it to stay there. Let's put it that way. It's probably the most polite way of saying it. But look, I just think it's like, it's just so lovely. That's grey board. Oh, I'm going in with teal. Hurrah. So that's fab foil again. And it's the teal colour. Put on exactly the same way. Just little accents of the teal here, there and everywhere. Not going overboard with it because we've already got a fair bit going on. Oh, I keep knocking that camera. Beg your pardon. Look at that. Add your hoops now. I find my findings uh, for, for these, I find them on Amazon. And I'll try and put a link below so that you can see the sort of things I'm using. They're not stainless steel because uh, they're not um, sterling silver because they cost an arm and a leg. But these are do just the job. And look, one color color combination one way and turn it over another. Fabulous. Well done. You did it. Well done. You know what? These were great fun to make. There was some mixing of dinkles with gesso. I love those Dinkles colours. They are so bright, so... They're just a happy palette, aren't they? They make me think of summer, of happiness, of all my favourite things rolled into one. It's just... I'm automatically happy when I'm using them. They just lift your spirits. That's quite an amazing thing to say. Anyway, so thank you very much for coming along and watching us make these rather funkadellas. Funkadellas? Funkadori. Amazing. Let's go with that. Fabulous earrings. I hope you've had fun. Thank you for joining me. And then if you've got any comments you'd like to make on this craft, please pop them in the post below and I will do my very best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, have fun and go. Go make lots of greyboard earrings.